You wake up tomorrow and the simulation resets to 12th of December 2012, but you, and only you, have all of the knowledge and information that you've acquired since. What's the first thing you do? Call in a fake bomb threat to Sandy Hook Elementary on December 14th. Also, change my major to photography instead of just dropping out after taking a semester off. You'd be better off calling the police than telling them a gunman will show up on the 14th. Buy a house in the country with lots of storage and a greenhouse. Me too. With housing prices this high, that would be really smart. It would also be great to have somewhere to hide the bodies in advance. Wait. Wait, what? Tell my mom that my little brother is going to be born tomorrow. His birthday is the 13th. She might not be surprised. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say a word to anyone. Not that I wouldn't want to, but some of the stuff that's happened in the last, especially three to five years or so, are so far-fetched and so bizarre that no one would believe me. They'd think I was absolutely off my rocker and I might be sent far, far away. No one could ever, even in their wildest imagination, have ever thought of what's going on back then and anyone who tried to say something like that would be a kook. No one who answered the so where do you picture yourself in five years job interview question in 2015 got it right. No one. Try to stop Sandy Hook. Damn, this was two days before it happened. Sandy Hook honestly feels like so long ago, like I was on vacation when that happened and I remember seeing my mom crying. Prevent the death of Harambe. I swear, things just went downhill from there. Do you think Harambe cursed us? Now that is a terrifying thought. I would go home and take my dad out for his birthday. I would talk to him as much as possible in this time. My dad died from Alzheimer's in 2016, but in 2012 he was still mostly there. Everyone just talking about getting rich and this man speaking the real sh**. Tell The Simpsons producers the events of the last slash next eight years. I think it's already been done. Wait, was it you? Shh. Getting ready for senior year of high school with eight years of industry experience in three white collar professions. Hey, it's the entry-level job candidate every company is looking for. Oh boy, pays and experience, here I come. Well, it's junior year of undergrad. I don't know, probably just try to improve my quality of life, avoid some bad life choices and relationships, and try to get right back where I am, but a little better. My life isn't perfect, but I love my pets and fiancé. I don't want to trade them to try to move up in the world. Buy loads of shares in Tesla, Amazon, Apple, and Bitcoin. Pretty sure AMD was a steal in 2012. Fix all the shit I f***ed up, then get rich off the stock market and Bitcoin before hiding in the woods with my fortune somewhere around Christmas 2019. You're just gonna do Harambe dirty like that? Kid, I don't have much time. I have information that will lead to preventing you from killing this gorilla, Harambe, whose death would spark a massive chain of events through to the year 2020. Did it? <laughs> Nothing for the first week and a half or so, then put all of my then girlfriend's shit by the curb and dump her cheating ass on Christmas Day. Even better, get photos of it and leave them in a manila envelope on her shit, with just a smiley face as the title. Start a f***ing YouTube career and invest in Bitcoin. Simple, but effective. I like it. I remember the numbers for the few weeks of the billion dollar Powerball from 2015 to 2016. I wait out three years, then choose the winning numbers for the week prior to the actual win. My state has an anonymous winnings rule where my identity would not be disclosed. I take care of my family, then cut off contact with them and live out a happy life. That last sentence was a bit weird, but okay, cool. Go back to sleep. I thought the same thing. I feel bad, all these other people thinking nice things, saving lives, preventing disasters, and all I've got is, hmm, a nap sounds good. This is good for Bitcoin. What if this is why Bitcoin's price spiked so much? A bunch of people with time-traveling memories know that it goes big at that date. Oh, one of those paradoxes. Time travelers go back in time to buy Bitcoin, which makes it valuable, so years later they go back in time to buy the Bitcoin that makes it valuable, so years later they go back in time. I think I get that, yeah. <laughs> Realize I only have 18 days until my dad dies, so I spend as much time as possible with him. Use for knowledge to become fabulously wealthy, then buy Facebook and delete it. Facebook was already a billion dollar company. I doubt even with all the money you could get with foreknowledge, you'd make enough to buy it from the old Zuck. Use money to buy Tumblr, then sell it to Yahoo for even more money, and then buy Facebook off of Zuck. Can't fault that. Bitcoin, stock in Tesla, betting on Super Bowls, etc. Then money would never be an issue. 
With that money, I did my best to prevent some of the tragedies that have happened in the last few years, just how to be careful about changing things and creating a paradox. Really hard to decide exactly what to do, knowing even the smallest thing can change the course of history. Become a hardcore doomsday prepper and get rich off stocks, lottery numbers and Bitcoin. Like we're talking thousand acre ranch in Wyoming with enough food to last a decade. Run like hell, go to hug my mother in the hospital and spend together her last 48 hours without leaving her alone for not even one second. Buy stock in Netflix. They had price of $13.33 on December 14th, 2012. Then they had a seven to one stock split on July 15th, 2015. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it sounds good. Call my dad and tell him to go to the doctor right now. If he won't go, I will grab him by the ear and drag him. After that, work on moving closer to my work sooner. At some point, I will try to remember companies to invest in so I can get a little ahead. I think I called that friend before I met her and scare the shit out of her with all the knowledge that I have about her. How about drop little hints about your friend's futures, but not like enough to make it obvious, just enough to make everybody around you wonder what the hell you're up to every time you predict something that turns out to be correct. Would be super cool if that scratcher you just got won $500. Watch them win $500 and then think you're the absolute man for predicting it. Rinse and repeat for years. Wait for May 11, 2020 to roll around, wake up and stop my mother from taking a whole bottle of sleeping pills at once and instead just talk to her for hours on end. And should I fail still, call an ambulance as soon as she walks into the bedroom to sleep instead of being none the wiser and waiting until dad got home. Yeah, wasn't a good day for anyone in the family. I'm sorry to hear that. Sending love. Thanks. She's doing fine right now though, I'm still a bit on edge. Doesn't exactly help that I watched her down said entire bottle and wasn't exactly any wiser. She takes a bajillion pills for high blood pressure. How the hell would I have otherwise known? Although I am getting help preemptively before it f***ed me up long term, so there's that. Cancel that flight. He's not worth my time or dignity. Same. I was gonna say unceremoniously dump the sh** out of my ex. It was slightly before my first schizophrenic experience, so try and live a peaceful life, get enough sleep, stop smoking pot, and continue my guitar lessons in an effort to avoid the schizophrenic experience. Hug my mom. I miss her. Me too. Join the drama club so that I can hit on the hottest girl I've ever known. I was crushing on the wrong person in high school and lacked the social skills to do anything about it. That girl is going for her PhD now, which makes sense because she was also one of the smartest people I've ever known. And the reason she was in drama club? She designed steampunk costumes for the senior play, although in 2012, that's a few years away. So yeah, basically every man's dream. Come up with a great conspiracy that the main calendar was off by eight years. God damn it, do I have to go through all that again? I was in fifth grade at the time, so there isn't much I'll be able to do. I wouldn't even have the chance to meet the people who are now my best friends for another four years. I could maybe find in middle school, but chances are we wouldn't become friends then. Man, I feel you. I'd have to redo high school all over again. Maybe I'd test out, take the SAT, get into college as a child prodigy. Then again, that's just a few months before the anxiety and OCD strike, so I might lose that battle before it's even begun or get right to taking the medication that works for me so that my parents don't have to move away and leave me by myself when I turn 18. Now that is sad. Invest in Zoom, Lysol, or, and, toilet paper brands. Wise move. Won't get married. Go and strike a deal with a Simpsons writer who wants future tea that they can spill, predict, in the show. Be a depressed emotional wreck because that's the night my grandfather died. Warn my uncle, basically my father, about Los Alamitos Medical Center so he doesn't die of malpractice. Confirm that 2012 was the beginning of the end of the world. Make sure I don't date the guy I was talking to then, fix my relationship with my parents, go to college and find the guy I'm with now and date him right away instead of pushing him away for three years thinking I wasn't good enough. There's the distinct possibility that the guy you are dating now wasn't mentally or emotionally ready to date you before you managed to get together, but neither of you knew it. Get my mom scanned so that her cancer is discovered when it's still curable. Get meds for my then unknown bipolar disorder. £10,000 on Leicester Football Club. Thank you. Go for a double with Vardy's record number of consecutive scoring in matches. 
For those of you that don't know, uh, these guys are referring to when Leicester won the Premier League in 2016. Uh, they are my team, so I thought this would be a good one to end on. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you're enjoying these videos, and I do want to hear any suggestions you guys have to make the videos better, so let me know. Make sure you subscribe if you are new here, because I do these videos every single day.